Okay, let's do a cell diagram. Here's the act we were talking about. Um, so you can add these to find the overall, but you don't really need that for the cell diagram. What you're going to do, set up your little picture here. Okay, there's your standard template. You'd write anode here, cathode here. You'd write salt bridge here. Pick a salt, let's KCL, it's fine. Okay, and now we want to fill in the blanks. Uh, your electrons, by the way, would be going this way. And here's your little voltmeter, right there in the middle. Okay, let's try to fill in the blanks now with these reactions that I gave you. Uh, is fluorine or hydrogen peroxide the anode? Yeah, uh, or water if you want. This second one is the oxidation, and that's the anode. Okay. So, uh, by the way, so let me fill in some of the states here. This is aqueous. You know that water is a liquid. Uh, we've got aqueous here. We've got aqueous here. And F2 is a gas. Okay. So this would be kind of a tough one. This is a good one. <coughs> All right. So for the left-hand side, let me get a different color. What's going to be the catalyst? Uh, not the catalyst. The electrode. Yeah, there's nothing given. So let's just use platinum solid. There's no solid there. So let's use platinum. There's already water in here. So I'm not going to specify water in particular. I'm just going to say that H2O2 aqueous is coming off. So whenever water, and since this is an aqueous solution, rubs against the platinum, H2O2 will come off and electrons will shoot up. Uh, and also write, just for completeness, I'll write the H plus aqueous here as well. It's also one of the products. Both of those are going to pop off once ever water is interacting with the platinum. An electron will go through the wire to the right-hand side to the cathode. What is uh, the electrode here for the cathode. Also, we use platinum. And that's just my favorite. You could use any other uh, non-reacting electrode like graphite. Okay, so a reactant here is the electrons which are coming in and the F2 gas. So that means you have to bubble, since it's a gas, in order to get it in there, you have to bubble F2 gas in. Somehow you have a hose connected to a cylinder that bubbles in that two gas. Yeah? Can I draw a big circle around the platinum and say F2? Like, you know what I mean? You want to draw a circle around the platinum? Yeah. Wait, what? Gas chamber and F2. Uh, I don't know. Why don't you just do it the way I do it? <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's interesting, but the problem is if you did that, how would the salt bridge get in? And how would the wire get in? It'd have to have holes in it. It would be, I don't know how you'd do that. Just do it this way. Okay. So you're bubbling that in. Once it reacts with the platinum, F minus aqueous is going to come off. Okay? Uh, and there we go. That's it. Any questions? Oh, let's do the shorthand notation. Shorthand. Oh, the shorthand would be uh, the anode first, that's H2O2. <coughs> and on the other side, we have F minus aqueous F2 gas. Okay? Any questions? Yeah, uh, over there. There's two of you. Yes. You don't have to draw the arrows for the salt bridge unless you feel like it. Uh, most people, don't. I just drew them when I first started so you knew what was going on. Uh, if you do draw them, make sure they're correct. Okay, yes. Oh, thanks, I forgot the platinum. That's funny. Minus 10. Okay, platinum. 
solid. Uh, and over here, platinum solid. Thank you. Okay, is that? Oh, yes. Uh, it doesn't matter for the salt bridge, whatever. Yes. Why do you have this? Is the single bar represent a phase change? Yeah, the single bar is a phase change. You're correct. Over there. Yeah. Do you want us to write the reaction underneath the anode? You don't have to, but that is always great to write the reaction underneath the anode and cathode. Don't have to. Yes. Do you include water? I wouldn't because this one also has water. So it's not that interesting. Yes. Uh, I like to, yes. I like the word bubble there. I like that. I like bubble tea. All kind of bubbles. Yes. What about, what coefficients are you talking about? You mean that two there? That, these coefficients do not need to be here. It's understood. Anything else? Yes. Uh, should F minus be used in a salt bridge? Usually I'd say yes, but I'm not in. Uh, the kind of anion that's used in a salt bridge is when you're given, uh, let's see what an example would be. Oh, there's no good example. Mm. Not, not for this one, there's not a good example of how it would be given that I can think of off the top of my head. But it'd be a, let's say you're having silver going to silver plus one. And it said, uh, yeah, point one more silver nitrate. Uh, you better have nitrate as your anion. It's totally useless, but it should be your salt bridge. But in this case, this F minus is in the reaction. So I don't want a reactant in my salt bridge. My salt bridge should be a spectator. <laughs>